Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. Uh, today we have a, a press conference and I will moderate it. My name is Khatun Nazari, a member of this club. Uh, our guest uh, today will talk about uh, a very timely issue. It's about uh, Hiroshima, which has been the news uh, since 1945, for uh, reasons we all know. And we are hosting today uh, two prominent members of organization uh, called uh, the Hibaksha. Uh, of course, everybody knows about it. And uh, at my very right is Mr. Teromi Tanaka. He is Secretary General of the Nihon uh, Hidakyu, Japan Feder Confederation of uh, Atomic and H Bomb uh, Sufferers Organizations. And at his uh, next, uh, next to him on the right side, Mr. Toshiki Fujimori. He is Hibaksha and Assistant uh, General Secretary of Nihon Hidankyu. And uh, we will have them talking uh, about their uh, letter sent already to uh, President of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama. And it was extended to the American Embassy. And I think they said they sent uh, another letter to the White House. And today they will talk about this letter. And I think you have all uh, copies of this letter to President Obama, along with some documents. Uh, they are basic documents issued in 1948. It's about the basic policies of Hibaksha in Japan. And uh, it doesn't. It has the word apology uh, requesting. Uh, they request apology, but in the letter to Mr. Obama, there is no apology. But they didn't drop it. I think we we can have a time to ask about this issue later on. Uh, each uh, uh, gentleman will talk about uh, ten minutes, including translation into uh, English, and then. Uh, after 20 minutes, we will have the question and answer session. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me to be here today. I experienced the atomic bombing in Nagasaki on August the 9th, 1945. 3.2 I was 13 years old at the time, and I was at my home, which was located 3.2 kilometers away from the hypocenter, and I was on the second floor of the building. Due to the fact that there were some large hills located between my home and the hypocenter in Nagasaki, I was able to survive without heavy injuries at the time, and so I am also able to be with you here today. Uh, however, I had two aunts who at the time were living just 500 meters and 700 meters from the hypo center. And so three days after the bombing, we went into the center of the city in order to confirm uh, how they were. Uh, so even three days after the bombing, when we entered this area near the hypo center, the scenes which we were greeted by were completely horrific. In just walking this uh, short distance, we could see hundreds of piles of dead bodies uh, there in the area. Also many hundreds of people who had very severe injuries and yet were yet to receive any kind of relief or aid. And this was a scene which seemed to me to be, well, completely not even something from this world. And after seeing this, I came with the determination that we must never allow such a thing to occur again. And so actually five members of my family lost their lives immediately following the bomb, both of these aunts who we went to search for, my grandmother, uncle, and also cousin. Five 
やがて亡くなりましたおばは私が到着する直前にやはり大やけどで亡くなっておりますでそのおは私たちの手で野原でダビに付しました Uh, each of these family members lost their lives in different ways, whether immediately after the bomb or one of my aunts who passed away actually just before we reached them as well. And we had to, after this, actually with our own、uh, bare hands, cremate、uh, their bodies in the field nearby as well. もう一人のおばと、えー、大学生であったいとこは、自宅の後で真っ黒焦げの死体となって転がっておりました。Uh, my other aunt, who we went to search for, and my cousin, who was at the time a university student, were found in front of their homes.、Uh, their uh, deceased bodies completely charred black. So, the two of them were found in front of their homes. So, the two of them were found in front of their homes. And both of those aunts had actually been a great support to my family. Indeed, I was actually living,、uh, or my family was a single mother family, and so both of those aunts were a great support to us, both、uh, psychologically, but also you know, physically, or, and so on as well. So their loss was a great impact on our family. Yes, but the family was a great impact on our family. Yes, but the family was a great impact on our family. And so, following the war, while physically I was healthy, our lives for the following decade after that was indeed、uh, very difficult. So, the American soldiers And the tragedy of the atomic bombings was actually kept、uh, sealed or forbidden to talk about actually under the US occupation for the first seven years. So we survivors, we Hibaksha, were not even able to talk about what had happened to us, what he, we had experienced. And after Japan regained its independence、uh, for the three years, actually, also under Japan, we were not able to talk about、uh, what had happened. It was completely kept under the lid. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were not able to talk about what had happened. It was completely kept under the lid. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were not able to talk about what had happened. It was completely kept under the lid. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were not able to talk about what had happened. It was completely kept under the lid. それが現在の私たちの日本被弾協でございます。And so it was only until 11 years later following the bomb that the survivors who were now also not only living in Hiroshima and Nagasaki but actually spread、uh, throughout all parts of Japan came together and decided to join their efforts、uh, both for the purposes of、uh, helping themselves but also to rid the world of nuclear weapons. And then so it was 11 years later that they decided to build an organization and this is what became our organization, Nihon Hidankyo or the Japan Confederation of A&H Bomb Sufferers Organizations. しかしその10年の間に救護を受ければ助かるべき被爆者たちがたくさん亡くなりました。However, during that decade, there were many 被爆者 who should have been receiving support or aid who actually lost their lives or passed away during this time as a result of not receiving what they needed. 申し忘れましたけれども、日本被弾協は日本にある47都道府県の会の協議体であります。And so our organization, Nihon Hidankyo, is、uh, representing the local organizations which are based in each of the 47 prefectures of Japan. So each prefecture has its own Hibaksha Association, and Nihon Hidankyo is the confederation which joins all of these together into a national network. ということでずっとこの今日まで60年間核兵器の廃絶核兵器のない平和の確立そして生きている被爆者に対する国の援護を求めて戦ってまいりました。And so, since the launch of our organization for the past 60 years, we have been working towards the mission of the main goals of the abolition of nuclear weapons to create a nuclear free and peaceful world, and also to call for suitable、uh, support and aid from the national government also. Nuclear weapons are not a 
非人間的な非人道的な真実を世界中の人々に知ってもらいたいということで60年間必死になって戦っていきました。And in order to rid the world of nuclear weapons to achieve abolition, we believe that it's necessary to tell the facts of the experiences of the Hibaksha, to tell about the inhumane things which occurred,、uh, the humanitarian consequences of nuclear weapons. And we have been pulling all of our efforts to desperately share this message with the world for these past 60 years. えー、藤森にお願いしたいというふうに思います。So I will now pass over to Mr. Fujimori who will speak some more about the recent efforts, particularly of what has been happening in recent years and today. こんにちは。Good morning.、えー、私はあの一歳の時に広島で被爆しました。I was one year old when I experienced the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. 体調を崩して母が私を背負い病院に連れて行く途中でした爆心地から 2.3 キロの土手の上で被爆しましたと私たち親子の間に2階建ての民家があったので直接熱線を浴びることは避けられました standing, I, I, we blast, 爆風で吹き飛ばされた親子が奇跡的に今生き残って母はもう亡くなりましたけど私自身ただいま現在72歳で生き延びたのは奇跡的なことであります。And my mother and I were blown away by the blast which occurred after the bomb. However, miraculously, we were somehow both able to survive.、Uh, my mother has since passed away at a later date, but I am still here today and I'm now 72 years old. Uh, so, I will limit my, or my sharing of my own experiences to this and move on to what I'm sure you're all very keen to hear about, and that is our thoughts in regards to President Obama's visit to Hiroshima. I was a member of the American government. 大統領が確認することを求めています。So、第一に、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、持ってその違法性、非人道性を確認すると私たちは要求しております。And until now, we have been、uh, calling for an apology which would recognize or acknowledge the fact that these atomic bombings were inhumane and also against international law. 今回、オバマ大統領が広島に来られるにあたって、さまざまな動きがありました。There have been various developments in regards to the upcoming visit of Prime,、uh, President Obama to Hiroshima. そこで私たちがオバマ大統領に要請することを次の4つに絞りました。And so, as Nihon Hidankyo, we have put together four specific demands or requests which we are making of President Obama on the occasion of this current visit. 第一は、えー、あこの4つの要請のすべての源は、2009年4月にオバマ大統領がプラハで演説した中身についてであります
And these requests we have actually based on things which came out of the contents of the speech made by President Obama in April 2009 in Prague, known as well his, his Prague speech on nuclear disarmament. And the reason for this is uh, President Obama's remarks in Prague actually gave great courage or encouragement to many people of the world at the time. And the first of our requests is as follows. Uh, the first point is, as the leader of the only nuclear weapon state which has indeed used nuclear weapons, we believe that President Obama has a moral obligation. So, the 21st century of the the and he also spoke in his presentation about the fact that, uh, well, for the future of the 21st century, then we need to look at the nuclear weapons issue. And so President Obama has even himself, therefore, said that creating a nuclear weapon-free world and a peaceful world is one of the priority issues of the 21st century. その and now that seven years have passed since President Obama made this presentation in Prague, well, what has developed with his words and actions since then? He is continuing to take the position that nuclear weapons are necessary. So they are not and therefore, our first demand is to ask President Obama to reflect the words which he spoke about in Prague and to take the lead to act to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons. Our second request is as follows. オバマ uh, in his speech in Prague, President Obama spoke about the fact that in the 20th century, people of the world stood to together to achieve freedom, and in the 21st century, it is now time for people around the world to stand together in order to achieve a nuclear weapon-free world. So OEWG and therefore, we are asking of President Obama, if he is saying that this is the time for the world to stand together for this, then why is it that the United States is not attending the United Nations held open-ended working group, which is a series of meetings being held according to the United Nations uh, declaration of last year in order to work towards nuclear uh, disarmament. So we are asking, if he is talking about taking the lead, then why is the United States not participating in this process? If we follow what President Obama spoke about in his speech, then the United States should be taking active participation in this process and also taking the lead in this. And the third request is in regards to something which President Obama made a clear promise about in his speech in Prague, in which he said that the United States would ratify the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, or the CTBT. In 
even though seven years have passed since the speech, the United States is yet to ratify this treaty. これもぜひ実行してください。So、we are calling on President Obama to implement this ratification. 四つ目は広島に、広島を訪問するからには、広島の被爆者と会話し、被爆の実相を体験し、核兵器のない世界を約束してください。And our fourth request is that if President Obama is indeed visiting Hiroshima, we call upon him to meet survivors of the Hiroshima atomic bombing, to meet with Hibaksha, to converse with them, to experience the reality of what they went through, and to make a promise to work towards a nuclear weapon free world. So I will end our initial words here. Thank you very much for your presentation and、uh, abiding by the time. We would like to open the floor for、uh, questions and answers. Jerry, I will start the、uh, question.、Um, RTL France 放送特派員、ルジョンと申します。今日はありがとうございました。あの、question in English.、Um, Um, to, Mr. to both of you, actually, I have a question, Mr. Tanaka and Mr. Fujimori.、Um, it's true that at one year old, you bear not so much responsibilities for what happened on that day of August 6, 1945.、Um, therefore, I would like to ask you,、uh, sir, and to, you, to both of you,、um, if you is it true that、uh, Hibakusha don't ask for apologies from the US president? Is it true? And what do you think about it? And、uh, as a follow up, I would like to ask you.、Uh, Uh, gentlemen, some people say that um, um, the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki have been used by Japanese and maybe some other Americans at that time to, to be a sort of curtain hiding the atrocities committed by the Japanese Imperial Armies at the time of colonization in Asia. So, what do you think about it? Thank you. あの当時の日本軍がまあ中国などで行ったようなまあその悲惨なことを隠すためにそのまあ広島長崎の被害が訴えられているというような話もあの一方ではあると思うんですけれどもそれについてぜひコメントをお願いできればと思います。日本国民が被害の現状を知るということは良くないというふうに考えたと、それから世界中に原爆が非人道的なものであったということが知られることを非常に恐れたということがあるかと思います。で日本政府はあの敗戦をして、えー、占領下にありましたので、えー、国際的にきちんと謝る時期がなかったんですけれども、独立した後に、本当にアジアに対して謝罪をしたかというと、これはしておりません、残念ながらしておりません、えー、残念なことは、日本の戦争の指導者たちに対する国民がきちんと審判をするということができなくて、古い考え方の指導者たちがそのまま残ってしまった。だから日本が戦争を行ったことについては、えー、加害責任を負おうとしなかったということがあるかと思います。Uh, so, first of all, in regards to the years immediately after the war,、uh, first of all, as part of the overall occupation policy of the United States, I believe that what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was、well, covered up by the United States in these initial years.、Uh, one of the reasons was this、uh, well, two reasons. First of all, if the Japanese people were to learn about or more details about what had happened, then that would impact、uh, the way that the occupation was being conducted. And the second point is、uh, also from the fear that people around the world would also learn about these humanitarian. Consequences or the inhumane nature of nuclear weapons. And so, for these two reasons, I believe that during the occupation period, the United States was not or was covering up,、uh, shall we say, the situation of the real impact of the nuclear weapons.、Uh, in regards to、uh, the situation of Japan,、uh, following the occupation, well, during the initial years, because Japan was under the occupation of the United States,、uh, there was sort of no actions taken by Japan as a country in regards to its、uh, acts that it had perpetrated in other parts of the world. 
And however, if we look even after Japan gained its independence and we question whether Japan really did conduct an apology to the countries of Asia in regards to what Japan was responsible for there, unfortunately, I don't believe that this is something we can say has happened. Uh, the reason for this is those people who were responsible at the time uh, during the war in Japan uh, were not able to be sort of uh, held responsible or held to question. Many of the people who were actually the leaders during the war or pre-time actually remained in place with these same old ways of thinking in place as well. Therefore, I believe that uh, with some of these facts in place, Japan has not actually fully uh, made an acknowledgement or apology in regards to what it conducted during the war in Asia.で、謝罪を求めていないという、え、見解があることは私も知っています。で、え、柴木さんの中には、謝罪を求めないという人もいます。で、さらにそれに拍車をかけているのが、広島市長、広島県知事が、主な大統領に謝罪は求めないと述べ
And this is, of course, because this, w this, because this was the first time for people to learn about the effects of radiation on the human body, on human health. And so even doctors or medical professionals in Japan had no experience or knowledge about how the victims should be treated. And on top of this, the occupying forces also uh, held or did not release information in regards to treatment and so on at the time. And so the Hibakusha were forced into a situation where as a result of their exposure to radiation, they were not able to you know, move, not able to work. And the name given to this kind of disease which was appearing in the survivors at the time was the Buddha Buddha disease, meaning sort of people wobbling or so on. So we and after this, we started to be able to tell our own experiences, to convey our experiences to the world. For the purpose of ensuring or making sure that no one else would have to suffer as we did ever again. And our slogan from this time was no more hibakusha. And we have been for many years making this appeal for the wish to prevent such a tragic thing occurring ever again in the world. And this is not at all for the purpose of trying to uh, neglect or uh, not mention what happened in Japan's invasion of China and other parts of Asia. Another further slogan of our activities, our movement, is also preventing humanity or saving humanity from a crisis such as we experienced. We are also aware of the terrible things which were uh, conducted by Japan in parts of Asia and other parts of the world. And also Japan must apologize to the people of Asia. So I believe that this is something which we can uh, share this sentiment. Thank you. フリーランスの藤田博之と申します。え、有刊富士と え、日本が核武装してれば
止めようがないと思いますね、技術的に技術供与,供与とかいろいろあります、核の拡散は現実的には厳しいです、これを止めることはかなり難しいです、そんなごめんなさい、はい、その中でその、核のない世界というのはあまりにもその理想ではないか。理想は素晴らしいんですが、現実的には難しいんじゃないかと思いますが、いかがでしょう Uh, my name is Fujita. I am a freelance journalist. I would like to refer to an anecdote by a、uh, diplomacy critic、uh, from at the time of the war, someone called Mr. Kase Hideaki.、Um, at the time, there was a question posed about well, if Japan had had nuclear weapons at the time of the war, then would the United States still have dropped the bomb on Japan? And the response to this question was well, why do you ask a question which has such a clear answer? In other words, implying that if Japan had had nuclear weapons at the time, then of course the United States would not have dropped the weapon on Japan. Of course, I can understand you saying that it might be. Be a good thing to have a world with no military, no, oh, sorry, no militarism, no army, no police, and no court system. But I believe that that would be something difficult. And it's also when we consider the five nuclear weapon states which are existing in the world today and also the proliferation which is occurring, I think, for also technological reasons, it would be very difficult to stop the kind of nuclear proliferation which is happening today. So my question is、uh, well, I can hear that you're talking about a nuclear weapon free world, but to me, this seems something which is just realistic and、uh, not very. Likely to be able to achieve. What is your comment in regards to this? I think that the world is a very difficult place to live in. I think that the world is a very difficult place to live in. I think that the world is a very difficult place to l いいうふうに確信いたしますですからどんな理想であろうともですねそれを実現しようじゃないかということで人類が考え方を変えながらその,その理想に向かっていくというのが21世紀以降の人類の姿であろうというふうに思っております。Um, of course, we are often asked this question, and when we talk about our wish or our activities to work towards a nuclear free world, there are always people who ask us, Well, don't you think that that is not realistic? However, when I look back on the tragedy or the horrific things which we experienced firsthand and really think about the fact that if a nuclear weapon were ever to be used again, this would have catastrophic impact on humanity as a whole. And so I really would like to say that even if this is perhaps an ideal, this is something which now in the 21st century we need. To look at how we can change our way of thinking, our way of going forward in order to achieve this ideal. I was in the NPT Saikent Kaiyu, and I was in the NPT Saikent Kaiyu. 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 それこそが核兵器を持つことが安全保障につながるんだということであれば、世界中の国が、おっしゃいましたように、世界中の国が核兵器を持つこと、これが一番安全だということにつながりませんかと、私はもう反論をしてまいりました、結局、そこに私は到達してしまうというふうに思いますので、やはり理,理想を追求するということが、これからの任務だろうというふうに思っています。Um, I have on many occasions、uh, met with ambassadors or representatives from the nuclear weapon states, for example, on the occasion of the NPT review conferences or the Nuclear Non Proliferation Treaty review conferences. And at that time, when you meet with the ambassadors or leaders of these nuclear weapon states, well, they continue to share their position that, well, in order to protect our safety or the safety of our country, we need to maintain our nuclear weapons arsenals. And however, their way of saying this is, well, having nuclear weapons or maintaining nuclear weapons is indeed what makes us safe. However, I, I come back to this and I think, well, would that mean that every country should you know, lean towards having nuclear weapons? Is this meaning that every country would want to obtain nuclear weapons? And would this indeed be a kind of safer world? And so I really think that it is now the time and it is now our mission in this century to pursue this ideal of creating a world free of nuclear weapons. One more thing. 国際的紛争は平和的に解決するという平和憲法9条を持っています、これは被爆者にとって本当に、えー、その通りだという思いでずっと守ってきました、そして世界の規範にすべきであるということを国際的にも訴えてきました。
どうもありがとうございます。And I would also like to add one further comment.、Uh, Japan, of course, has Article 9 in its constitution, which calls for the peaceful resolution of、uh, conflicts between countries as well. And for Hibakusha, for the survivors, this is indeed something very important,、uh, which has protected us until now. And I believe if we can look at how we can make this Article 9 a global norm as well, this can be one way to look at how we can ensure our security in the future as well. So I would like to share this point and end here. Thank you. Süddeutsche Zeitung Germany, Neidhardt. The Japanese government has always had a kind of a double standard towards nuclear weapons. On one hand, the, it was very active、uh, for denuclearization. On the other hand, Uh, Prime Minister Sato allowed, secretly allowed nuclear weapons into Okinawa, for example. And it has not been very nice to the Hibakusha. On one hand, you were exploited, and on the other hand,、uh, you were neglected.、Uh, do you see, how do you uh, uh, position yourself to this kind of double standard? And do you see a risk that the current government is using the Obama visit for political aims, especially the elections this summer? えー、日本の政府があの矛盾しているではないかという質問でした。So this question was in regards to the double standards or contradictions within the policy of the Japanese government? いや、その通りです。And I believe this is very much the case. 例えばあの、外務省はよく世界での会議で発言する際に、世界で唯一の戦争被爆国という枕言葉を使います。Uh, for example, the Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs at various international conferences and fora always speaks out as the only country to have experienced nuclear bombing during wartime. その世界で唯一の戦争被爆国がなぜ世界で唯一核兵器を使ったアメリカの核の傘で自らの安全を守るというその論理が私にはよくわかりません。Uh, however, if this is the case, then why would such a country be positioning itself under the United States nuclear umbrella and be utilizing these United States nuclear weapons in order to ensure its security? This is a kind of logic which to me is inconceivable. And I think the Japanese government is perhaps in quite a difficult position where it has to use this kind of contradictory logic. で、連合軍の占領となってますけども、基本的にはアメリカの占領下のもとで日本の政治が動き始めました。この中にはアメリカの影響がおそらく湯水のように注ぎ込まれてアメリカと共同するという政府になってしまったんだと思います。And so, why is it that Japan has you know, been positioned or is in this difficult、uh, position now? And I believe we need to look at the history of what happened from that. We look, of course, at Japan's experiencing the atomic bombings, and then you know, following this, the Japanese、uh, government surrendered, and following this was the Allied occupation, or well, the United States occupation of Japan, really. And Japanese post war politics started to develop under this occupation period, or in this time as well. And so, I believe the influence of the US policy as Japan was developing this was indeed very、uh, pervasive. And so, this has a lot to do with what has led to these contradictory policies today. So, this is not only the case of the government, but the government of the government. And this is, of course, not only、uh, the movements of the Japanese government independently, but also、uh, quite strongly in connection with the United States policy, also. 
選別された若者をアメリカに呼んで、えー、教育するなどただ、自然にアメリカと日本が接触してこうなったのではないと思っています。And I believe it's not just you know, a natural development in regards to the relations between the two countries, but also quite you know, definite or、uh, deliberate policies put in place for this. You know, even when you look at education, you know, selection of particular youth to go to the United States and study particular policies and so on in order for this to be utilized in regards to the two countries' relations later. There are also issues of the election system, but it's been a long time since the election system. And I think that the Japanese election system also has quite a lot to do with that, but that might get into、uh, quite a detailed discussion there, so I, I won't go into details about that point, but just to mention it there. I think that the Japanese election system also has quite a lot to do with that, but that might get into. I would also like to share that I believe that the Abe government is indeed very dangerous, and there is indeed a great danger that President Obama's visit to Hiroshima will be utilized for the purpose of strengthening the US Japan alliance, and this is something I'm very concerned about. So, the government is very concerned about the US Japan alliance, and this is something I'm very concerned about. アメリカとの軍事同盟から離脱せよということを被爆者たちは常に日本政府に訴えてきたということも申し上げておきたいと思います。And following the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was no longer a need for Japan to be so dependent on the United States in regards to its security policy. So, one of the things that we Hibaksha have long called upon the Japanese government for, as well, is for Japan to develop its own independent security policy rather than being so reliant on the United States as it continues to do today. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Hi, I'm Kirk Spitzer with USA Today. Back to the apology issue. I understand that you're not asking for a direct apology from Obama, but during his trip to Hiroshima, do you think his, his presence in Hiroshima will? will Represent an implicit apology or represent an implicit acknowledgement of wrongdoing by the United States? Thank you. I'm going to ask you 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 そういうふうにあのオバマ大統領が直接広島に来られるということについてはそういうふうに理解したいと私たちも思っておりますしかしやはり被爆者の一人でもいいですから声を直接聞いてほしいとそのことによってオバマさんのその気持ちが強化されると私どもは信じておりますので。あってほしいということを日本政府も通しながら訴えてきましたけれどもそれがいまだ実現するという保証はありませんですから私どもやはりまだ十分に楽観はしておりません。Uh, so, of course, we would like to hope that perhaps there is such a message included or such a meaning included within、uh, President Obama's visit to Hiroshima.、Uh, what we are most calling for as Hibaksha, though, is we hope that his visit to Hiroshima will allow him to directly hear the voices of those who were affected. And we think that this can also strengthen his resolve or his perhaps determination to do something about this issue as well. So, therefore, we have been via the Japanese government making official requests for President Obama to just meet. With Hibaksha, just to hear from Hibaksha when he is visiting Hiroshima. Unfortunately, we still do not have any indication or guarantee about whether this will actually be realized, but this is something which we are hoping for him, for him to hear the voices of Hibaksha so that he can learn from what they have experienced and、uh, put this forward from now as well. えー、ジャパンタイムズの尾崎と申します、えっと、オバマ大統領が広島に訪問することを受けて、日本の安倍総理が真珠湾を訪問する必要性
、えー、についてはどのようにお考えでいらっしゃいますでしょうかその理由とともに教えてください。I'm from the Japan Times. I would like to ask about the perspective that if President Obama is visiting Hiroshima, that there is also calls that Prime Minister Abe should visit Pearl Harbor. Can I ask for your comment in regards to that? えー、っとあのやはりパールハーバーの訪問と広島長崎の訪問は私どもはちょっと違うというふうにずっと考えてきておりますあの私がアメリカに行って、えー、被爆体験を話しますとあなたたちはパールハーバーを先制攻撃者じゃないかというふうに反論されますでその時にあの時のあの当時のパールハーバーの日本の攻撃と原爆という非人道的な兵器の,あの使用されたものとは私はこれから21世紀以降の人類にとって質的に違うということを常にアメリカの人たちに訴えますそのことはあの、えー、理解されるただちあのすぐそこで分かったというふうに言ってくれますのでですから安倍さんがパールハーバーに行けばですね、えー、原爆被害等の、えー、なんて言いますかキャンセルみたいなことになるというふうに私どもには考えられません。Uh, in regards to the potential visit of Pearl Harbor, I believe that there is、uh, quite a different meaning to a visit to Pearl Harbor and a visit to the atomic bomb cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I have visited the United States many times myself as well, and of course, when I give testimony or speak there, many people ask this question. They say, Well, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, right? However, what I Respond in regards to this is that,、um, well, yes, Japan did attack Pearl Harbor, but what happened in Pearl Harbor and the facts of what happened with the use of such an inhumane weapon as the atomic bombs, the nuclear weapons, and the impact that that has on humanity as a whole and the meaning that that has also for you know, the future of humanity as well from the 21st century, I believe that this is somewhat of a different nature.、Uh, so the comparison between Pearl Harbor and the use of nuclear weapons or the effects of the atomic bombs is something which I say is perhaps not directly corresponding. Responding to each other in that way. And when I share this in response to、uh, this question, often people say, Well, yes, I, I see what you mean in regards to that. So I don't believe that perhaps a visit of Prime Minister Abe to Pearl Harbor would you know, cancel out what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and so on. I don't believe that that would be the exact correspondence there. All right. Please follow up. Um, Lejean again from RTL France. Just a precision, maybe I misunderstood, but clearly, do you ask for apologies or not? The answering in negative question is difficult from English to Japanese and vice versa. So, question is have you or not asked for apologies? Have you been pressured by the authorities of this country not to raise this issue? So, what is in your heart? What do you want? Apologies from Obama in Hiroshima, yes or,、mm. or not? Thank you. No, I think I have a lot of questions. 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 家族を失った人にはぜひ謝罪してほしいと思いますだけで,すですけれども一般的に謝罪という言葉になればな,なると日本の戦争自体に、えー、対して、えー、謝罪を求めるということとは質が私は違うというふうに思いますので一般化される、えー、されない、えー、本当の被害者人間的な被害者にはやはり謝罪をしてほしいというふうに思っております。Uh, first of all, in regards to the apology, I believe one of the key questions is to whom this apology would be addressed. And if we look at those people who were killed, those bereaved families, those who lost children, these human victims of the atomic bombing, I do believe that there should be an apology made to them.、Uh, however, when we talk in general about an apology, this can be perceived to mean, well, to make an apology to you know, Japan as a whole, or for example, to apologize to you know, the, Japan and the situation. Of the war and so on. Therefore, I'm somewhat cautious about generalizing with the term in that way. However, if we speak about an apology to the direct human victims of the bombing, this is something I am calling for. 
、そ,そのことが核兵器を廃絶することの障害にならないようにという思いが被爆者にも強いということも付け加えておきたいと思います。And I would also like to add that the wish or the will of the 被爆者 is also that this should not be、uh, allowed to become an obstacle to nuclear weapons abolition either. I would like to. Yes, I would like to ask a question if nobody.、Uh, you said that Mr. Obama didn't, still saying that atomic bombs are necessary, and he, America didn't participate in a UN conference on eliminating nuclear weapons, and he didn't ratify NPT, and he has so far no schedule to meet Hibaksha. And he will not apologize and he will not issue a statement. So I'm wondering what is、uh, significant of his visit to Hiroshima if all of these are not、uh, met, in your opinion. And don't you think that Obama, by this visit, is trying to build up personal uh, uh, legacy as the first president to visit Obama, but the nuclear issue is just、uh, another case? Thank you. いやあの、今おっしゃったのと、私たちが要求している4つの項目について、一切ゼロということであれば、確かにただ、訪問したという記録が残るだけだと私は思います、でそのことによって、核兵器をめぐる情勢が進展するとも思いませんので、広島訪問は一体何だったのか。という言葉が残るだけではないかと思います。Uh, I believe, as you say, if all of the four requests which we are putting forward, well, if none of these requests are responded to or are put into action, if this is zero, then well, this will indeed mean that all it is is recording the fact that a visit happened. If it will also not lead to any development in regards to the field of nuclear weapons or their disarmament. And it will just leave us with the question about, well, what meaning did this visit have? I, so, yes, as you say, if none of these are realized, then indeed this will be a question. Yes. あのでも、オバマ大統領、個人でもいいですから、核兵器の真実、被害の真実を知ってもらうということは、彼自身の変化をもたらすに違いないと、私たちは思っております、それを政策の中に今度は反映してほしいというふうに願っております。However, I believe that even if President Obama, just on a personal, on an individual level, through visiting his Hiroshima, learns the facts about what really happened in Hiroshima and the experiences there, what the reality of nuclear weapons is, then this can even mean a personal change in him, and we can have the hope that perhaps that can be reflected in policy later on. So there is even the meaning of you know, the individual change from visiting Hiroshima. All right. Any more questions by those who didn't ask? All right, we have still two minutes. Fujita san, please make it short and ask in English. You are a very good English speaker, so we save time by translation. Thank you. Uh, there's a gentleman whose name is Taki in Sumidaku. And he, read, uh, uh, he wrote a book entitled、uh, Red Blizzard, which is about the、uh, Tokyo Air Raid. In three hours,、uh, about 100,000 people were killed. Of、oh, course, we can't compare Tokyo Air Raid and Hiroshima Nagasaki. But、uh, well, for those who died, they died. They did, you know. So, I, I think they're equal. So, how are you going to.、Uh, well, think about that kind of issue. You know, there, there's, there's no、uh, difference between the people who died. その命を奪ってしまったということについては奪ったことについての償いあの謝罪はしてほしいというふうに思います。空襲全体の状況だとか、原爆の被害の状況だとかというのは、一般的には議論できないと私は思っています。
In regards to the lives that were lost or for those people who were killed in these, of course, human life is something which should be prioritized above everything. Therefore, well, the, the value of each of their human lives and the, the weight of having this human life taken is, of course, I believe the same. However, when you look at the nature of the weapons or the damage itself, I think that well, the air raids and also the impact of a nuclear weapon or the atomic bombs is something which is uh, not the same. All right. Thank you very much for your insights. This wraps up our event today. I have two honorary membership for our guest speakers today. And uh, it's for one year. They can come and tell us more about this, especially after Mr. Obama's visit. Mr. Tanaka, please. And Mr. Fujimori. Welcome to the Foreign Government Club. Thank you for coming and have a nice evening. Thanks.